Wednesday, August 14th, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, in this video, I've got some amazing pictures and videos to share with you guys that have been sent in. But first, we're going to start here at Webcams de Mexico, where an eruption was detected down here at Popo, almost the same exact time as an eruption was detected off of the eastern limb of the sun. This eruption occurred probably within an hour of that volcanic eruption nearly the same exact time and this was highly unexpected as the sun is very quiet as you guys all well know that was a very strong CME that produced or a solar flare that produced a CME you can see right there coming off the eastern limb of the sun and that occurred at the same time coincidentally as this volcanic eruption down in Mexico as you can see here at webcamsdemexico.com I'll post the link to that volcanic eruption down below in the description box. This next article is from sciencealert.com. It goes on to say, Astronomers have detected a whopping eight new repeating signals from deep space. Dated August 14th of 2019. The reason I'm touching on this is because back in 2012, I noticed some sort of a strange light in the sky that I couldn't explain. I saw it in 2012, I saw it in 2013, 2014, and part of 2015, and then I uh, couldn't see it any longer after that, and I still look for it every March and every October. And it's only when Hydra is in the eastern sky, and you can only see it at a certain time. And once Hydra is at a certain point, you can no longer see it. And it's near the brightest star in Hydra, known as Alfred. That's called the solitary one. And if you go straight across from Alfred and Hydra, you'll see Leo. And it's right between the constellation of Leo over here on the left Alfred on the right and there's a dark area right there in the center and every once in a while well it was very strong in 2012 very strong in 2013 very strong in 2014 I saw it 90 different times with the naked eye I didn't need a telescope to see it and it was a repeater uh, once it would be red the next time it would be blue and it'd be a red then it would be blue and it looked like a jagged cloud it wasn't a, a, a man-made light of anything like that. It was a jagged cloud that was on a repeating cycle of about 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So I've seen something like that myself. I uh, found it by sheer accident. I guess they're starting to see more and more of these things, which does not surprise me. Um, like I said, I saw that one for better part of three years. I have not seen it since 2015. Now we're going to move on to a video slideshow that I put together for you. This was sent in by DJ of multiple arcs in the sky that were near the sun. This was not a halo. He said he'd never seen anything quite like this. It was multiple halos in the sky around the sun or in the proximity of the sun. And you can see to the left of the sun especially there's four sets of lines and some of them are intersecting and they are definitely not typical halos. Totally agree. And he said he'd never seen anything quite like that. And I have to agree, it is kind of mysterious, much like this orb here that Mark noticed. You're going to see this orb. He follows it for about 30 seconds through the sky. It's not a blinking light. It's not an airplane, not a helicopter, not a balloon. It's moving towards him. And then it does some sort of a circle maneuver in the sky. And then it goes over and parks near a cloud. And it kind of blends in with the cloud. Here it goes. Then I show it to you again here in a different format. You're going to see it change altitude and then go over next to a cloud and kind of disappear or use the cloud as, as camouflage or something. I don't know what he caught here. It's really weird. It's getting ready to make that maneuver right about now, I think. Yep, there it goes. See how it does a swirl. Then it's going to kind of disappear into this cloud over there. See that cloud? He can still see it. It's sitting over there. So what I did was took and adjusted the format and I put it in fast forward so we could get to it a little uh, faster. And you can see it a little better. It's actually coming straight towards him. I zoomed in a little bit to try to see if I could find any features on this thing and I couldn't. It's moving much too fast to be any type of a balloon. It does look like it's some sort of a mechanical object exactly what it is I have no idea it's just another one of those videos that are just too good not to share in my opinion something unique in the sky that I don't think is a drone definitely not anything big like a helicopter or a plane 
there i just put it in slow motion and paused it but uh, yet another mysterious white orb this one was seen by jody from colorado she's an excellent sky watcher she doesn't miss too much up there let me tell you here comes the orb on the left and you're going to see it too disappear behind a cloud and i zoomed in as close as i could on this one without compromising too much of the clarity and it doesn't look like a bird, it doesn't look like any type of a drone or an airplane. And then you're going to see it right there make a rapid move into the clouds. Did you see that? That was a great observation. So I don't know what she caught there, but it was much like the orb Mark saw. And then right towards the end of the visual, this thing makes a rapid movement towards the clouds. Watch this. It's moving along real slow. There's no wings. And then look at that. No wings flapping of any kind. And then it just gained speed like it was propelled. I don't know, just some more unusual things that were seen in the skies around planet Earth. Here's a slideshow I put together of some of the new pictures that have been sent in. Updated probably 50 new photos at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. Silver Springs, Florida. Photo sent in by Don of a dual sky. Don from Silver Springs again. What looks like some sort of a triangle shaped cloud in the sky see those almost now on a daily basis big beam in the sky sent in by Don once again from Silver Springs Florida Rose Angela from Australia big double rainbow look at that and that is intense too very intense double rainbow see a lot of those double deckers Pranava from Flagstaff Arizona very unique cloud almost looks like some sort of a mothership setting up there Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Kyle, I've got another photograph from Pennsylvania right here I want to share with you guys that Kyle sent in. There's a very obvious outline of some sort of a craft right there. That's probably one of the most obvious I think I've uh, ever seen. <laughs> Look at that. There's definitely something there, or definitely was something there. Another rainbow from Australia, Rose Angela. I think it's the same one, but she took several pictures of that beautiful rainbow charlotte north carolina photo sam mccory of some colorful clouds in the sky rose angelo once again australia double decker high profile rainbow james from denver awesome storm cloud standing tall in the sky cleveland tennessee more storm clouds probably from yesterday there was a lot of storms in tennessee Another look at these colorful clouds from Charlotte, Tennessee by Corey. As he was driving down the highway. Orange sunset or sunrise from Cross Lake, Minnesota. Sent in by Tom. Beautiful pictures. Here's an outline of a perfect triangle in the sky from Indiana. Photo sent in by Robert. Cross Lake, Minnesota. Tom, once again, orange. Beautiful sky. Hallmark moment. Photograph sent in here from North Carolina of an ominous dark sky. This is either before a storm, during, or after. I think it's uh, before a storm. Storms were starting to brew on this day. This photograph here, I want to pause it for a second. This was sent in by Jimmy from Illinois. And looking at it from this distance, you really don't see too much of anything that's out of the ordinary. You do see something that's kind of disc-shaped right here that doesn't fit in with the rest of the sky. When we get close, you're going to see something very unique underneath that cloud. I adjust the filter and the lighting and contrast a little bit. Italy, beautiful colorful clouds here. Several. There's a little triangle right there. Some more colorful clouds. Very unique sequence of photos sent in from Italy. Look at that one bright pink just beautiful beautiful skies good job guys you're wide awake and on the ball robert k big shadow up in the sky next to the sun i don't know if that's sunrise or sunset another photo from north carolina as that ominous storm was brewing now back to the photo from illinois sent in by jimmy you're gonna see a disc right here underneath this cloud it's undeniable perfectly round disc with a donut-like hole in the middle. Look at that. That's undeniable. There is a disc vertic standing vertical underneath that cloud. And I didn't see it until I adjusted the filters just a little bit. And there it is right there, crystal clear. Or at least that's as clear as I could get it. Perfect disc underneath that dark cloud right there. That was an observation made by Jimmy from Illinois. Good job, Jimmy. Good job, 
everyone you're wide awake and on the ball keep the photos coming you can share your photos to reports at mr mbb 333.com the sky phenomena photo gallery is updated every day at least once a day sometimes multiple times a day and you can find the website link below in the description box mr mbb 333.com thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there